around over the same area this time last night. So it's going to be some sort of rather large exercise. <laughs> Making you hungry, Jeff. Yeah. Something's gone terribly wrong. Yeah, indeed. So we'll, we'll get more no doubt um, on that through the night and, and possibly into tomorrow. But we're trying to find out urgently what caused this because these are in a fresh out there. These such helicopters, derivatives of the black troops all around the world. So we'll want to know urgently if it was more catastrophic. Maybe he's behind the computer. <clears throat> Where's he gone? Yeah, exactly. And it's a big issue, isn't it? For, for Go away, Jeff. Yeah. There will be an election issue too, as we talked about the economy. Put it on again. It's cost of living earlier. Put it again, so Jeff. Now, in the very most recent... Might catch him this time. Had, immigration is almost as important an issue now for people as the economy, yeah. which is just incredible. Yeah. It is very, very close yeah. by as number two. Well, talking of which, um, a great demand from the international community for European nations to take in Syrian refugees uh, many of whom are saying, oh, I'll take 30, when they're being asked to take 30,000. What's the position of the UK? The UK has just previously said that they weren't going to sign up to the UN uh, recommendation for them to take some refugees. But Nick Clegg has come out and said that Britain's... You're going to get the gerbil, Jeff. 1,500 refugees in from Syria, Look. I believe, in the last year. Oh. And it's quite interesting because apparently Britain also gave an awful lot of money, 500 million, to Syria and the bordering com com countries to deal with that kind of refugee influx. Almost saying we won't take them in, but we'll give you that money instead. So the fact that we've given the money to the other countries and we've accepted Syrian refugees um, shows, I think, that we have a lot of compassion in this country. But of course, actually, you don't really have a huge amount of choice when the government takes asylum seekers if they're really here. <laughs> Can't throw them out, so they have rights under international law, under the European Convention Human Rights. So, Nick Clegg may not have intended to say, Except they seem to be doing this treacherous journey through North Africa and then coming up north through Lampedusa and Malta, the islands we've seen, those dreadful incidents of boats over time. So, if they do get there, you know. It's been a hard task. And this is a very interesting point, given what we've just been discussing, because the British public are in favour of the allowing Syrian refugees to come into the country. Um, people who are often against blanket immigration from the EU are still saying we should be helping those people who are in need. Having an issue with immigration doesn't mean that you're a racist at all. Yeah, interesting. And lots of stuff come, including good news for the British car making industry, perhaps for the French back in Sky, welcome. 
welcome some very special guests. I think if Jeff had thumbs, he would give it a thumbs up, wouldn't he? I think he would. Yeah, it's going on Jeff's favourite video list on YouTube. Sorry, gerbil. 